Um, let me just start with, you know, I think that, and Dr. Tedros said this initially, I'm a big supporter of intellectual property and the role that the industry's played in bringing medicine forward. Um, however, with, with some, some, some things I think that, well, well, the reason I'm very supportive of this um, call to action. First of all, in terms of fair and equitable access, I do think it would be fantastic to see the industry come forward and commit to working with the medicines patent pool or other mechanisms to make the intellectual property that comes out of the products that we develop, whether they're vaccines, therapeutics, or diagnostics, to be produced by generic manufacturers and then made available in fair and um, equitable terms globally. Um, I do think to make this happen, you, we have to expect and respect that different companies will have different um, uh, uh, concerns that they're going to have that have to be addressed around whether, you know, if, if this is truly voluntary geographies around different uh, tierings of geographies, you know, understanding that the poorest countries of the world, what's fair and equitable for them will differ from middle income countries that will differ from wealthy countries. That's the way the industry is going to look at this. Um, I think they're going to look at protection around their commercial interests, their indications, their uses. But I do think this can be done. We've seen this done in, we did an HIV, we've done this in, hep in hepatitis. I do think it's a good model. And I think I, I would love to see the industry come forward today while, while these products are being developed and make a commitment to make these products available for generic production, for local production, and get, get to what those terms are that will be acceptable. And it's gonna vary from country to country. The other thing I just wanna to touch on why I'm very excited about this call to action is, we don't have these products yet. We do not have the therapeutics. We do not have the vaccines. We do not have the diagnostics we need. I do also believe that the component of pooling knowledge, pooling data, creating a forum where this data can be shared to create those new breakthrough products is more important today given this epidemic than we've ever seen before, the human and economic costs. We cannot wait for the typical development timeline of a vaccine or a therapeutic. And I think this is an opportunity to see if this pooling of knowledge, sharing of information, sharing of intellectual property, of breaking down these barriers can expedite that, that, that development and allow these breakthroughs to come through. And if this works in COVID-19 or in, in this particular epidemic, maybe then this model could be used for some of the neglected diseases around the world that the current IP and industry model doesn't work well for.